You heard their names. Tyler, Seth, Billy, Brandon, Justin, and many others. In the fall of 2010, 12, 13, 14 young people committed suicide rather than endure the pain and humiliation of the bullying that they were being subjected to. Bullying based on who they were. You may have done something about it then. Maybe you did a It's It Gets Better video or you made a donation to an organization targeting bullying and doing something about it in your community. Well, if you live in California, there's something else you can do. AB9 is going to be introduced in the California Assembly. Now you may be saying, well gosh, I thought California already prohibited harassment or discrimination against students based on sexual orientation or gender identity. And you would be right. But what California still lacks is the specific sort of guidance for school administrators, teachers, parents, and students themselves when they see bullying, what they can do about it actions they can specifically take to stop it, and programs that they can put in place to prevent it from happening in the first place. What's proposed in AB9 is really a model, a model for the rest of the country. It's one thing to say, we want to stop bullying. I mean, who would not agree with that statement? It's another thing to put in place the kind of programs and guidance, specific measures that teachers, parents, kids, and anyone can take to stop bullying, even before it starts. So sign up and follow NCLR on Twitter or Facebook, and you'll be seeing updates about AB9. We'll put you, give you links to your legislator so that you can contact him or her and let them know that you want them to support this legislation. We never want, again, to experience a fall like we did last year. And with measures like AB9 in California and other states, and your activism and your involvement, we never will.